friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today I'm sharing why I don't like my projector. Yeah, there's reasons. There's reasons that I'm not sold on the projector thing. <laughs> Let's get into them. So if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should, but if you don't, you don't know that I got a projector. So I got a projector and then a long period of time happened and then my husband set it up for me. Since he set it up till now, it's been about a week and I have made a romper for myself. I have made two tank tops for my kids. I have made three t-shirts that I'm actually comparing in the next video. And I have made a bathing suit for my daughter. I think that's it but quite a bit in, in the span of one week. So I am loving it. I'm loving using it. I'm loving getting to know it. But there are some things that I'm just not into compared to traditional paper pattern sewing. So to start off, I just want to go through what projector I have because I know I'm going to get questions on this. I have the Ape Man LC350 and this is equivalent to the 5000L I believe it is. This is a 1080p HD mini projector and I am using it mounted to my ceiling with a mount from Amazon that I will link down in my Amazon favorites shop so you guys can check that out. The projector is also from Amazon so I will link that there as well and I do have plans to do kind of an intro to projectors video. I mean sharing as much as I can as a newbie, but that will be coming up So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it And for those of you more well versed in the projector area my table to ceiling height is 67 inches and then with that mount I wanted something that's gonna be close to the ceiling So my lens to table height is or length is 59 ish inches and that gives me a projected area of 26 by 42 inches. Now this is at current dining table height. I do have plans to build a custom table that will be more at my waist level. So, but I do have room to do that with this projector and then have, I, I will have a smaller projecting surface, but I don't think it should be a problem. So now with that out of the way, we could get to the things I don't like, but I just want to tell you about the things I do like first because I really am enjoying having a projector. Number one, this specific projector was so easy to calibrate. I did it all by myself. You know, my husband installed everything, but I did it myself, the calibration. And I, it, it was so easy that I was like, is this really all there is to do? Am I missing something? Is everything going to fail when I cut something out? But it's been great. So that was a plus. The only problem I really had was the squares when I was calibrating were getting skewed to rectangles. But all I had to do was change the dimensions or the, I don't know, there is a word for it, as aspect ratio, something like that. And then I was able to get it just great for my situation. And obviously the number one thing that I am excited about is that there's no paper to deal with. I don't have to go digging through my drawer to find what I'm looking for. I don't have to flatten out the pieces. I don't have to worry about dropping a piece and then trying to find it. I just go onto my computer, go to my files that I have organized, click it, comes up, project it, put it where I want, cut it out. It's fabulous. Now, there is one thing that I don't know which category to put this on, good or bad, because I don't know if it's true. I have heard that it's faster using a projector. And maybe as time goes on, I will agree with that. I don't know if I agree with it now. I haven't timed myself. It very well could be because I'm not fiddling with the paper and finding it, like I said, and all of those things. But there is some reasons why I don't know that it's faster. So let's get into why I'm not 100% certain that a projector is the best thing for every situation. Quick break. 
break here to tell you about coffee. If my content is helpful for you or you just want to give back, you can support Sewing From Scratch on coffee. I have it linked down below in the description box of all my videos. It's just a way to donate to my business so I can continue to bring you more great content. It, all the money goes directly to the business in terms of materials and editing software and filming equipment, all the things that go that are needed to run a YouTube channel and a sewing business. So if you are interested and able, I really would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's get back to our video. All right. First thing is you is the obvious one is that it, you can't really take it with you. you. I mean, you can, but who's gonna do that? You can't take it with you. I use mine on my desktop computer. You can definitely use your phone or your laptop or your tablet. I use my desktop computer, so I'm not gonna haul that and my projector and the mount and try and get it calibrated. I'm just not. I'm gonna cut things out and then take them ahead of time. So I mean, a lot of these are gonna be things you can live with, but you can't take it with you. So if you're used to taking patterns and cutting them out somewhere, that's gone if you wanna use your projector. The next thing is you have to have fairly dim light. They are, certain projectors are brighter than others. I believe this one is one of the brighter ones. I can see it in the daytime, but it's, it's easier to see if I shut the lights off in the evening or if I close my blinds in the daytime or something like that. Actually in the evening, I can't have the lights on it. It's, it's hard to see because I have so many bright lights in here shining right down that it, it just blinds the projector. Another thing is you need to have the space for it and I, I'm hesitant to say that because there's a lot of situations where people don't have large sewing spaces and they still use them. There's ones that you don't need to mount to a wall or a ceiling. Um, ultra short throw, I think they're, I believe they're called. So I'm kind of hesitant to say that. But, but overall, if you want to be set up where it's like an easy, quick thing, you do kind of need a dedicated sewing space. Or I mean, set it up in your dining room. I guess that's fine. Just have it on the ceiling. There is also a significant learning curve. It's not the worst, but it is significant. You know, there's the calibration and then there's the like moving things around. There's just like getting used to it because I still find myself like when I go to fold fabric and then move it, I'm like, oh, okay, I got to make sure I'm not like moving the pattern, but you're not moving the pattern. The pattern is not going to move. If you, if your pattern is projected here and then you put your fabric here, it's still going to be projected in the same spot. Just some mind boggling happening, but there is a bit of a learning curve. Another thing that I'm finding to be kind of an issue, simply because my husband uses the same computer as me, is you can only have that one thing up on the screen when you're wanting to project it. So yes, we could get a second monitor and you know, there's ways around it. I just don't really cut when he needs the computer. I mean, we do have a laptop too that one of us could use. Like there's ways around it, but if you only have the one computer and you and your spouse or partner or roommate use it together a lot, then it might not be the best option for you guys. But like I said, you can project using a phone or a tablet or something too. And another thing that is worth noting is not all companies, in fact, not a lot of companies offer projector files. So you kind of have to do some looking. There are more and more coming out with projector files, but it is a thing. If they have a copy shop file, like an A0 file, then you can use that. It's not as convenient, but you can use it. Another hack is there's a program called PDF Stitcher. So this is a sewing program where it takes PDF patterns and makes them into large format, puts all the pages onto one sheet. And there is some like figuring to that, but I've used it once now and it actually turned out really, really good. It just took me like punching in a couple numbers a few times to figure it out. But once I got it figured out, I mean, it's, it's crazy how good it is. And it only took a couple minutes. Okay. This one I think is partly my fault, partly just my own setup, but I don't find that it's easy to read. Uh, if you're using like white fabric, then it's a lot more distinguishable, but on most fabrics, I find that the words are 
uh, especially the smaller pieces, the words are very blurry and I've tried adjusting it and I've tried doing different settings. I'm not overly concerned about it because my computer is right beside so I can just look over and see what I need. But it is something I would like to address once you know, I have my final table and things like that in place that I can, I would like to be able to read what's on there. If you have a projector, let me know down in the comments if you're able to read what's on yours. Again, I am projecting a fairly large size for sewing patterns, so I don't know, maybe that's the reason. And not all patterns come with layers either, and that is, I've done I think one, one or two patterns where they didn't have layers, so I had to like try and figure out which was which, and of course, because I can't read them properly, like it's not totally focused properly, I had a really hard time doing that, so yeah, if patterns have layers, that makes it like a hundred times easier. Okay, and then my next negative on the projector is there's a lot of back and forth with the computer, pretty much every pattern unless it fits in your projected image you are going to be moving your your image around so there's a lot of back and forth on most patterns and it's not the end of the world yes i have a cordless mouse yes it's right beside it's not a big deal but it is something but it is better than switching out paper pattern pieces so there's that and finally and possibly my most disliked reason or most yeah most disliked point of a projector is I can't lay out all the pattern pieces on my fabric to see if it's all gonna fit if you don't know this I like to be a pattern ninja a fabric ninja and and minimize the amount of fabric that I use for every single project so it's not as easy to do uh, I'm not going probably not going to trace things out unless it's like gonna be really close or something, but yeah, that's that's a big bummer for me because I do that almost all the time because I'm working for my stash and I'm trying to get the most out of my fabric. Okay, so I hope that answered some questions for you if you're considering getting a projector. I hope it wasn't too negative because like I said, I am loving using it. I want to know if you have a projector, if you're looking to buy one, if you've never even heard of it, I want to hear that all down in the comments and I also want to hear if you'd be interested in a video showing like how to shop for a projector, the setup, how to get started, any of that kind of stuff, let me know down in the description box. The Facebook group called Projectors for Sewing is phenomenal, like I don't think anybody would be using a sewing projector if it wasn't for that group. So I will have that linked down below on any of my videos where I'm mentioning a projector or anything like that because it is it is amazing it is a godsend it is there's no way you would know how to do anything without that Facebook group that'll be said thanks so much for watching this video and leave me some comments down below about your projector experience wants needs and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can see you in the next video thanks again bye